I'm Anna Grace Taylor and welcome to your weekly angel reading for December 5th through to the 11th. I'm going to be using the Angel Wisdom Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. So let's see what the angels have to say for us, first of all, for Monday and Tuesday. Oh wow, okay, so those of you who saw last week's reading will know the King of Earth also appeared here, so whatever abundance, opportunity, success that you've been experiencing in the last few days, uh, this is going to continue, this is an amazingly auspicious, very supportive card, the King of Earth is com uh, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, this can also be a time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything working out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse, and a good person to work for. So of course, as we said last week, this can be an amazing partner or somebody in your family who's very supportive. It could be the place that you're in right now that you're feeling really good, um, but it can also be somebody offering you something or um, something in your work going really well. So keep an eye out for that. You can trust that if you are given an opportunity this week, that it's absolutely gonna bring you many, many blessings, okay? Oh, and here's confirmation of that, because this is the one of Earth, and this girl is walking a new path, a windfall of abundance, wise counsel, or great good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or a vehicle. So that says to me that yes, there is a really great energy around accepting opportunity, accepting support, accepting money, so that you can then follow this new path of yours. I often see this as like the yellow brick road. So whatever that looks like for you, it could absolutely be something outside of career. It could be that you're wanting to learn something new, study something new. It might be that you've suddenly had a shift in perspective about the path that you want to walk. Either way, that those two cards together mean it's great abundance and to definitely trust the opportunities that are coming to you right now. Okay, interesting energy. I'm not really surprised because we've had such a full power uh, message about abundance and success and lots of activity. This is reminding us to rest and take care of ourselves. The Ten of Fire says working too hard or too many hours, the need for balance in life, let others help you, health problems due to stress. So if you have been working really hard, even if it's leading you to great things, if you are really feeling like the king of earth and you've got everything going on for you, that's great, but you also need to take care of yourself. Of course, you don't need permission to do that, but if you feel like you do, here it is. So be careful of burnout. Make sure you make self-care a priority, especially at the weekend, okay? So very interesting energy, kind of feels like a big follow-on from last week's lovely energy. So here is my book, Messages of Grace, 111 Notes of Love and Guidance from Your Angels. You can buy it right now. It makes great holiday gifts for you or your loved ones. It's available on Amazon as this paperback and it even has journal pages uh, that you can fill in and uh, talk to your angels, write any thoughts and feelings that come up. And actually, I've just turned to one of my absolute favorite messages. It's number 74. Be love, be love and allow yourself to love who you are so that you can love everyone else more wholly. There is no search required, no pushing, no trying to be anything. Just being alive and living for love is enough. Some people may not understand or indeed even recognise that. But being love amongst all your humanity is what awakens the world more than anything else. Embodying it, embracing it. We love you, your angels. 
So that is a reminder to once again focus on your inner world, your heart, all of the outer things are fabulous, absolutely part of our human experience, but to really deeply connect with your heart and make decisions from that place will always make it abundant and meaningful, won't it? Sending you so much love, everyone. I'll be back on my Facebook and Instagram for the Daily Angel Messages. In the meantime, have a beautiful week.